MP, what's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? Glad you decided to stop by. Been a fan of yours for a while. You got some serious skills, man. Hey, I appreciate that. You got a lot of raw talent, too, so we can definitely sharpen some things up. Make you even a deadly NBA player. Hey, look, I love that. I'm ready to get to work. So what we got going on today? We got some big names coming through the gym the next few weeks. Cool. A few of these guys, I think you can learn a lot from. Oh, so we're here to get better, right? Exactly. Hi, right, what's the plan? We're running threes. We got some other young guys. Your class. You should fit right in. <sighs> Bet. You need a warm-up or anything? No, I'm good, man. Follow me. Watch him! Set up!
Stay there! Front head! Shot! Box, the up on him!
what are the things the teams can afford to tinker with at this stage of the season, go. Clark? Maybe compared to later in the year. Yeah, you know, Brian, I think... Keep doing what you're doing, all right? Go get them. Thanks, Coach. Don't let up, MP! Don't let up! And MP will be taking home the hardware. And with the month he had, this is certainly deserved. At the beginning of the season, some of us were wondering if he had the right focus. But he's shown all of us he's got the dedication, the skill, and the talent for the NBA. And it's Simon's missing. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Fade away. Lights out. That's good. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Back to Simons. Here's Snell to the paint. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. To the wing, right side. Out to the right wing. 13 feet out. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here. They look to me to be a bit sluggish. Here's Chris. It doesn't go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Atlanta. Yeah, that one was a nail-biter. Came down to the wire in overtime, and these guys just rose to the occasion. A ton of fun to watch, whether you were talking about it or a fan. And that was a great, great game. To the middle. Back to Simons. Puts up a three. Drummond grabs the miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Niang. Drummond, high post. Here's lights out. Fires the three. Doesn't go for him. Here's Snell. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Over to the wing. Shot clock at three. Here's Chris. Dibble with the board. Bible's got four rebounds now. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Here's Simons. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Drummond likes to be in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor, playing defense and gobbling up rebounds. He makes a lot of good defensive plays. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Philadelphia. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Also, they've been active defensively, applying pressure and coming away with some steals. Pass to Niang. Here's lights out. And the jam by Drummond. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. He's just a dog at offensive rebound. Here's Snell. Zeller up top. There's Simons with a three. Hits the trifecta. Simons got his second bucket on the night. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Drummond. Pass to Maxi. Here's lights out. And the 76ers, another three. Something to know about MP and his off-the-court interest. Grant, he's an avid follower of the fashion industry. Yeah, B.A., I mean, more and more NBA stars are getting interested in the world of fashion. I'm curious to see how far MP will pursue this passion of his. Slow down, Grant. Pick up the foul. Let them play. That's his first foul of the game. Korkmaz has checked in for the Sixers. Here's Simons. Pass to Little. Just four to shoot. Here's Simons. Oh, rejected by Drummond. And there's the shot clock. 
Sixers making a switch here. Milton is checked in. Philadelphia has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Korkmaz on the wing. Pass to Niang. Here's lights out. Coming off a terrific game against Atlanta. Here's Drummond. Here's lights out. Shot from 12. That shot off. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Pass to Snell. Chris in the post. Over Milton. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. A comfortable margin for the 76ers here, guys. Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. We've got Anthony Simons. Cody Zeller is out there with Marquise Chris. Then there's Tony Snell, and it's Little in at the three. Pass to Drummond, over Zeller. The shot by Drummond, no good. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Here's Lights Out. 12 points for him. Here's Simons. Drummond grabs the miss. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute to play. Pass to Korkmaz. To the inside. Here's Lights Out. Let's it go from deep. The shot won't fall. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Tipped. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Well, this is Drummond's defensive mindset paying off here. Sees a chance to make the steal and capitalize. And small forward Nasir Little. Just one season with the Tar Heels. He was the number six recruit in the high school class of 2018. But one year later, Grant slid to the 25th pick. NBA, he's showing signs that he probably slid too far. A long wait in the green room, but that's just one day. It's all about the work he puts in every day that will determine what he makes of his great potential. Here's Lights Out. Back to Simmons. Out to the right wing. Pass to Drummond. Shot clock at six. Here's Lights Out. The fader. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got four rebounds in the game. Down low. Here's Chris. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Drummond. Defended by Zeller. Drummond with the bucket. Drummond's got six points. A true center, a throwback center. Drummond is not a guy who jacks up three. Andre wants to eat inside. Here's Simons. Five points in the game. There's the triple. The rebound by Simmons. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Pass to lights out from deep three-point range. They get it back. And the jam by Drummond. Few players get more dunks than Drummond. He's a center who plays like a traditional center, looking to throw it down every chance he gets. And here's Simons outside. Rebound by the 76ers. Drummond's got eight rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and you've certainly been at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. 
Here's lights out. He's got 12. Yep, that one goes. He's got 14. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Screen by Zeller. And Shake Milton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Timeout called. Portland. Full NBA cup. Checked in for Nurkic. Chris comes in for Covington. Snell, he's checked in for Powell. And Simon has subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Here's Lights Out. Defended by Lillard. Korkmaz on the wing. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Left side Simmons. Here's Lights Out. The Sixers with another miss. What? Come on, Rev. That's a soft foul. Portland trailing here. We've got Shake Milton. Furkan Korkmaz is out there with Ben Simmons. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's lights out in at the point. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. A shot by Lillard. No good. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Goes up on the wing. Jump shot is good that time. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> What's incredible, he doesn't need much space to let it fly. Lillard's shooting touch does wonders for his team's spacing. Oh, deflected. Oh, it's stolen by Zeller. Out to Lillard. Takes the three. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense. He hits the second from the line. Here's Simons. Give him eight. Pass to Lillard. Here's Simons. The three-pointer off the mark. This fires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. Fader on the way. And that one drops for him. 18 points for him. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three-point line, so the mid-range is usually available. Lillard outside. Stolen by Drummond. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And it's Simmons with the jam. You know, as you add experience, you start to see the floor better. That was a sweet find by Drummond. Hey, kept it. Are you crazy? Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Niang, he's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Milton. Good. Give him 20. Now a timeout.
in embracing diversity in its league. Now, we still have a long way to go, but you have to be proud of the coaches who performed, as you said, in last year's conference finals, but also seeing the steps move in the right direction this summer with a lot of hires who are African-American head coaches. So, you know, obviously, it's a results-driven business, but greater diversity is certainly welcome. Shot clock at five. McCullough's shot is off. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Here's Maxi. Again, Philadelphia. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Here's McCollum, and he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Overall, their shot selection has been much better here in the second half. We'll see if the rest of their game follows suit. Pass to Korkmaz. And he's going for the oop here. And the jam by Drummond. Boy, that fancy alley-oop right there. That move by Drummond, the result of excellent communication with his teammates. There's McCullough with the three. That one doesn't drop. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's the floater. And that's two points on the layup. McCollum's got four points in the quarter. Man, an unpredictable defensive assignment in the half court. McCollum can score from pretty much anywhere. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Here's Snell. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Lights Out. And the three-pointer goes. And the 76ers lead by 12. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Here's Simons, and the layup is good. Simons got 10. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Here's Lights Out. 23 points in the game, and it's in there. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Portland has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Now here's McCollum, tightly guarded. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got 17. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Here's Korkmaz. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Pass to Chris. McCollum outside. 4-3. Count it. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. Looking to find the rhythm he had in the first half. That's now his fourth three-pointer of the game. 54 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's lights out. Another three for Philadelphia. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Pass to Zeller. McCullum outside. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Here's Maxi. And out of bounds, the Trailblazers will take it. Ready to bring this home, Junior? Always, Coach. All right. They didn't. Shaking it. They know what's Damian going. Lillard comes in for Snell. On the court right now for Portland. Lillard and McCollum in the backcourt together. Cody Zeller is out there with Norman Powell. And it's Nurkic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he gets it to go. Oh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. 
Embiid against Nurkic. Back to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. McCollum right side. Going inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be... Let the boys play. Stop trying to take over the game. in college and you know some of them will be pros and you're excited for them to have that opportunity to realize a dream so I think the drive and enthusiasm of these young guys at the college level as they embark on trying to be pros that's always fun for me to watch and see man he's got a lot of firepower right now I mean what a half he's had inside here's Chris oh and there's a one hand jam the B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. To the inside. Back to Simons. Clock at six. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Here's McCollum. The shot comes out. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Pass to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. Intelligent ball movement that time from Embiid. Getting it to a guy with a better shot. Now Nurkic. Over Embiid. Impede with the nice defensive effort. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Pass to Simons. And it's blocked by Embiid. He is such a well-coordinated, fluid athlete for his side. Joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. Down low. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazer is able to retain position. Reed to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Now here's Chris. Tight defense on him. There's Simons with a three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Milton. Embiid, high post. And Embiid throws it down. At seven feet tall and almost a seventh of a ton, that's a lot of force coming down on the 10 with Embiid. Now here's Nurkic. Back to Simons. Oh, they need this. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Here's lights out, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. McCullum, the pass to Nurkic. That's good, and it's McCullum with the assist. McCullum's got five assists tonight. Just a great combo guard. McCullum is capable of being a go-to scorer as well as a terrific distributor. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's lights out. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the in for Milton. Hey, 
and trying to stoke the competitive balance, Clark. Seems like the new lottery system has been working. I agree with you. Flattening the odds a bit, making it a drawing for the top four instead of the top three. A small tweak that has had a pretty good impact, in my opinion. Just five to shoot. There's a screen by Nurkic for three. McCullum, and it's Niang with a rebound. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. And it's McCollum penetrating. Pass to Chris. And here's McCollum. Offline with a three. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. Here's Embiid. And Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. Pass to Nurkic. Now McCullum. Shoots over Embiid. They retain possession. Out to McCullum. Another shot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the end. What? Come on, Rev. That's a soft foul. In the 2013 NBA draft, he still got plenty of upside. And he makes both free throws. Grant, as someone who played abroad on Team USA, how exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. Pass to Nurkic. Here's McCullum. Three-pointer. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by McCullum. A minute 35 left in the fourth quarter. Here's lights out. Here he goes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Using your hands on D. Down here for Philadelphia. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. Also, what touch they've displayed from long range as a team tonight and throughout this entire game. That one's no good. Now Portland with it. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the 76ers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. Here's Nurkic. That shot off the mark. And Philadelphia the other way now. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass the lights out. From downtown, sends it home from three-point land. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Here's Kyle. Oh, oh, man. Oh, what a punch that was. Bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. The reverse slam, that was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display. Yes, sir. Power and grace. That had it all. Here's lights out. With the fadeaway, gets the bucket. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it.
You're on another level, MP. Oh, Unguardable. Okay, Candace, you want to start? So, I'm working on a piece about how defenses are starting to selectively allow three-point shots in order to defend the whole court more effectively. You know, the Bucks are well known for this, often giving up above-the-break threes, which are more difficult than corner threes or giving up threes to lesser shooters, and a trade-off for protecting the paint. How does that strategy affect your team's ability to generate clean looks from downtown? It doesn't affect us at all. No, we make the other team adjust to what we're doing. That's what all good teams do. So you haven't had to add any wrinkles to your offense to deal with this? Wrinkles? Nah. We don't have no wrinkles on this offense. That's for old people. We just get buckets. <laughs> okay, then. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Johnny Lug, what's up, man? Okay, I've got to ask. Is there anything you can't do on offense? Huh? No. Okay. Care to elaborate on that? What do you want to know, John? I'm an open book. Okay, all right. Let me rephrase. What do you think is the weakest part of your game? Is there one? You asking me to choose my favorite skill, John? That's, that's like asking me to choose my favorite child. They're all my children. My handles are just as important as my shot, which is just as important as my court vision, and et cetera, et cetera. Look, every aspect of me is important for me to be the best me that you know and love. Okay. All right, y'all, how we doing today? What's up, CG? Super impressive showing this month, MP, and a well-deserved Rookie of the Month award. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. Right, I mean, how much does winning this um, do for your confidence, and how does that affect your play? <laughs> you know, I, I would like to say that I'm confident no matter what, but that, that's just a lie. Nobody's confident all the time, and stuff like this, it, it matters. I don't care who you are. When someone tells you that you're great at your job, you get confidence. It's just human nature. It's not a weakness or something to be ashamed of. Okay, so is confidence as a character trait underrated or overrated in the NBA? And how crucial would you say it is to success? Overrated. <laughs> really? Why's that? This, this is a talent-driven league. You can be as confident as you want to be, and if you don't have the talent, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Thanks, MP. Yeah, thank you, Candace. Um, I think that's enough for today. Thank you all.